Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2021 Jayco J Flight SLX 8 267 BHS bunkhouse trailer with the super slide and the outside kitchen. Overall, exterior length is going to be 30 feet 4 inches, and the exterior height to the full walk on roof is going to be right at 11 feet. And the unloaded vehicle weight, when it came off the assembly line, or the UVW, or dry weight, whatever you want to call it. And it would be right here on this sticker. 6,052 pounds, empty. And this trailer is perfect for a half ton truck. The only reason why the current owner is selling it is because they do not have, have time to go camping. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. Uh, overall condition, it's in great condition. It's just dirty. Uh, the owners have it here on these uh, on the storage lot, and storage lots aren't the best place if you want to keep your camper clean over uh, during the off season. But uh, but it should clean up pretty good. All right, get started. It is a super slide, and it accommodates the boot dinette and the trifold sleeper sofa. And it's that ultra leather fabric. Uh, pretty much excellent condition. It's just a little dirty on the inside. There's a little stain on the carpet that I'll show you uh, on the floor here by in front of the boot dinette. But the trifold sleeper sofa sleeps two. The boot dinette sleeps two. So you can sleep four in the slide out. And the color is going to be like a real dark brown. Nice stitching right there. You have night shades all throughout. And the boot dinette is the traditional boot dinette with the uh, poles. You just uh, take them apart and lay them down and just lay this table on the little edge here and position the cushions accordingly. And again, you can sleep two, two adults comfortably. And again, fabric's in excellent condition. It looks to be like an ultra leather or leatherette. Yeah. And they had lawn furniture chairs sitting here, so any of the dimples, they should even out, stretch out fine. And that's a little stain I found. And uh, I would say a little simple green and a shop vac. Clean that up real quick. We do have storage up underneath each boot dinette. Definitely convenient. And let's work our way to the back and then go towards the front. Uh, the double bunk with the teddy bear mattresses and you can sleep two adults comfortably here you do have 12 volt charging USB hookups over there and you do have LED light for each bunk and it looks like they've got ducted air duct for the booth or the bunk bed and again um, LED light and you do have a 110 outlet here so if somebody wants to hook up something else a TV they'll have to run kind of an extension cord or you could probably fashion something through the through the ceiling there and uh, the bunk bed is rated at 400 pounds 600 pounds 600 pounds it looks like oh, I have my glasses on I'm gonna zoom in on that for a second there you go vanity outside the private toilet area uh, they do have this coach winterized right now so you're going to see some of the uh, uh, plumbing fixtures see taken apart and that's just because it's winterized nice tub for the kiddos and stand up shower nice nice big skylight forgot to turn that on vent fan and you do have a foot flush toilet kitchen area here you've got a huge pantry for this floor plan maybe put some pots and pans down there not sure what color they're calling the cabinets maybe some kind of a maple and it does have the brush nickel hardware and you do have the eight cubic foot nor cold refrigerator gas and electric 
I believe that's eight cubic foot. Yeah, it looks like it. Automatic, and you do have um, temperature setting, which is nice. But just kick it on, whether you're boondocking, hooked up to shore power. A couple hours later, you will have cold fridge. And it is gas and electric. I do believe I said that. Stainless steel finish on the front. Doesn't leave fingerprints or anything. That's nice. Stainless steel finish looks like on your appliances. Microwave. We're not hooked up to 110. Uh, so the digital readout's not working. We're only hooked up to uh, the owner's truck. Three burner gas cooktop front burner, usually a high output for boiling water, and it is the Furion setup. Nice glass lid for more counter space. Yeah, forgot to turn it on. Looks like the oven's never been used. I do believe that is true. The uh, countertops are going to be that foil wrap countertop, it's uh, water resistant kind of keeps the weight down. See that pink stuff? That's that winterization. Nice double bowl. Looks like 50-50 double bowl undermounted sink. Oh, the owners looks like uh, they have some cleaners up here and it looks like toothpaste dried up right there. I tried to get most of it off, but uh, that's a non-issue. Should clean up. Uh, the owner's brother is with me today and uh, he says he thinks everything goes with it but everything you see in the camper I think it goes with it but double check with the owner uh, again they're not able to use this so uh, whatever hitching they have uh, maybe you can work something out on that but I do know most of the accessories in here the brother was saying he thinks it goes with the camper AC unit's going to be uh, ducted quick dump AC unit ducted and open up the louvers here and you'll uh, cool off the trailer pretty quick within a couple of minutes and then close off the louvers and you'll have ducted AC all throughout and of course ducted furnace all throughout uh, this pretty much has all the TVs TV in the bedroom and TV in the living room looks to be maybe a maybe a 32 inch and it's a little smaller than that uh, let's see RV technologies IRV technology stereo but it is Bluetooth uh, USB hookups auxiliary and uh, yeah you get a DV there DVD player and CD player they don't really do that anymore that's nice but it does have uh, Bluetooth capability and double double door entry into the master bedroom and that is a fairly plush uh, queen mattress for uh, this class so a lot of times the mattresses are not the best and I did check for water damage did not find any issues at all I check all four corners look for any wrinkling in the wallpaper let's walk around to the other side here There's your other TV, and it looks to be about the same size. And you do have the pocket door, the solid wood pocket doors, not just curtains. In some uh, classes, or I'm sorry, some manufacturers in this class will actually just give you a curtain. So that is nice, the pocket doors. And you do have 110 outlets on each side of the bed. And this bed does lift up, and you can access the storage up underneath and the outside garage storage. And LED lights all throughout. Nice reader lights up underneath here. This is going to be your monitor system right here. Water pump switch. Easy to figure out. And then you've got a six gallon gas electric water heater. Whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power, you'll, you'll have hot water within 15 minutes. Your battery. Battery looks like it's partially charged. Again, we're, it's been sitting in a lot, but uh, it looks to be partially charged. So freshwater tank is going to be a 44 gallon freshwater tank and your black tank, which is your toilet and your gray tank, your sink and your shower holding tanks. They're each going to be 39 gallon buttons for your awning button for your slide out and light switches. Let's give you one last look and then we'll go outside. And again, trailer is dirty, uh, just needs to be cleaned up. I did not see any red flags. 
if I was going to buy this, I definitely wouldn't have any problem. I'd take it out on the weekend and, and get her washed up. Uh, more ride, step above system. That was part of a package. Cleaner look. Folds up inside the door. That's what you want. It's back up here. Got a 16 foot power awning. It's dirty. Uh, some soft scrub with bleach. Clean that right up. Any black streaks, you can use Awesome. It's a yellow liquid cleaner that they sell at like the dollar store. And uh, uh, you just got to be careful. Spot clean it. Don't hose down the whole thing in direct sunlight because it will bleach out your decals. It's some pretty aggressive stuff. But uh, yeah, Awesome is what most dealers will use to get black streaks off of this corrugated aluminum and off the decals. See the decals? They're in good shape. They're not curled up at the tips. If you watch any of my videos, uh, that's what I look for. Look for any curling, anything like that. And I always do my videos on sunny days uh, for one of the reasons. It's so on these corrugated aluminums, I can shoot down the side and look for any uh, rock dinks, any hail damage. And I didn't find any issues. I just look down the side like that, like this right here, and just kind of look for any rock debris. And again, this trailer's in great shape other than the fact that it's a little dirty. Uh, rock guard on the front, that was probably part of a package. Again, not sure about the hitching. Check with the owner if you're interested in the trailer. Maybe you can work something out. Two 20-pound LP tanks. And it does have the enclosed underbelly. So it's a little bit more aerodynamic going down the road and it protects your underbelly. And you can kind of go into extended season with not worrying without worrying about your holding tanks but you start getting into 30 degree weather you you need to winterize it or start he start heading down south you do have the heavy duty stabilizer jacks those are the ones you want optional was the electric ones i would prefer these all day long over the electric those are the heavy duty ones those are the ones you want and the outside storage and again that's excess up underneath the bed see that strut that's a assist strut to lift up the bed. And you got lots of storage. They got all sorts of stuff. Owner's hitching right here. Yeah, he's got the heavy duty bars. They might be, yeah, they're probably 800 pound bars at least. Might be 1200. See on the decals, see this little, the black streaks? That cleans up. See, I just took it off with my finger. Yep. 80% tint on your windows. Freshwater holding tank gravity fill right here. 110 outlet hook up here. Yes, oh, the sealer. Looks, yeah, this seals. Yeah, it's awesome. That's good. 110 outlet there. Cable hookups here. Uh, furnace exhaust here. You do have the good years. Those are the ones you want. Those Toyos, which a lot of manufacturers in this class will give you, and they're cheap. Dexter, easy lube axles, never adjust brakes, nitro filled, nitro filled tires with the green cap. And the tires are in excellent condition. Yeah, show it off. See? This is a clean trailer, other than the fact that it's a little dirty. Outside kitchen, that's what everybody wants with these bunk houses. Uh, looks like this suburban outside gas cooktop has never been used. See? I don't know. If it has, the owners have kept good care of it. Just push that in. There you go. Nice sink, and you do have. The dorm style, like 2.5 cubic foot uh, outside dorm fridge. Yeah, I think we got everything. Show off what it looks like when it's closed up. There's your J Flight SLX badge. See? All the decals are in excellent condition. No curling, no bleaching, no oxidation, nothing like that. Back up here. There's your ladder to get up on your full walk-on roof. Magnum truss roof system. Uh, Jayco has definitely strongest roof in this class of trailer. Jayco's known for their strongest roof system. 
and you are prepped and ready with the backup camera. You do have the backup camera, so uh, that was an option. And that was probably part of a package, the tire with cover on the back, and that's your service for the uh, service panel for the six gallon water heater. And this is your power cord, 30 amp power. There's your cord, it comes out about 15 feet, maybe a little longer. All LED lights on the outside, kind of in a tight spot here. See, so just kind of shoot down the side, look for any rock dinks. Looks like you got cable hookup here. This is going to be your city water connection hookup, outside shower, hot and cold water, and sewer hookups. And those are your gate valves and dump valves, whatever you want to call them. And again, your tires are in excellent condition. Easy lube axles, that's a big selling feature. You don't have to take the coach in to get the axles greased. You can do it right there on your, in your driveway or at the campsite. I think I got everything. And see, it's just a little dirty, and you can only tell with the white, with the white decals. But that should clean up pretty good. Again, some simple green. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, simple green will do it too. But uh, uh, awesome cleaner from the dollar store. You just got to be careful. You can just spot clean it. Don't hose down the whole trailer because, again, it will bleach out your, your decals. Yeah. All right. I think I got everything. If I didn't, I do apologize, especially to the owners. Uh, it's a one-owner trailer. And uh, anyway, if you want to come and see the camper, just call the number on the ad. You always deal directly with the owner. Or you can call 502-645-645. 3124 and if you like this video I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville Kentucky area you can always follow help sell my RV.com on Facebook YouTube and uh, or you can just go directly to the website www.helpsellmyrv.com